2014 meeting of the East Hampton Conservation Commission to order. This meeting is being recorded. Are there any public concerns, non-agenda items? Okay, none. Uh, we're going to move on to uh, public hearings and meetings, and we are going to go um, slightly out of order to take care of an administrative detail um, to keep things moving. So, Linda? Hello, I'm Linda Borch from Pascomic. And we're going to request an extension to your next meeting. We don't understand DEP's comments about the 401 water quality permit, seeing as we're doing a culvert repair. And we have not heard, we've asked DEP for information and have not heard back. So we'd like to continue to your next meeting. All right. So, I'll just make a motion that. Yeah. 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 I'll make a motion that we continue the Brickyard Brook Conservation Area. Meeting to the 28th of July. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Uh, and yes, Mr. President. Connect and no. Uh, we never did get to the uh, the, uh, the other section of Brickyard Brook. We were still patient coming in from Bernie Gall's project. And we must be supposed to do a, uh, you know, visit the, the area. Uh, um, never did it. Okay. We should schedule that for. Okay. Next Monday. Uh, if you guys can do it, by all means, you're gone. Um, can't do it Saturday. No, can someone get out there? I can do it through this week. week. Okay, so what is your con a good contact for you? Um, five two seven three five eight four. For me, yeah. Three, five, eight, yeah. Is this okay. for Brookhead Brook? You don't need to put the number in the minutes. No, I just wanted okay. to visit. Commissioner, Commissioner Ryan's going to visit the site, the yes. Brookhead Brook site. But you yeah, want to be out there? It's close to the farm. Okay. The, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. But you don't need to be there when I go, or do you want to be there? Or Pardon? Do you want to be there when I go, or? Uh, I'd like to be there, yeah. Okay, I'll give you a call. If, uh, okay, yeah. And we'll set up a time. Yeah. Good. Okay. Thank you both. So we'll now move on to the request for determination of ability filed by Riverside Industries regarding one cottage street construction of a new client drop-off area within buffer zone and or riverfront area. Great. Come on forward. Introduce yourself for the record. Hi, Char Gentile. Building manager. Building manager. <laughs> <laughs> My vacation, I'm not thinking. <laughs> so, Ashley, for your benefit, we met informally with Charm Rich um, a few weeks back to just um, look at the area um, that they suggested. And with that, do you want to present your site plan and the other information sure. regarding historic mill complex? Uh, well, the historic mill complex was established, um, mm -hmm. what was it, two years ago now when we did the greenhouse? Um, but I do have another map here that we need to see um, it back in 1910. Mm -hmm. But it's, is it part of that one? I, I thought it was part of that. Yeah. 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 yeah, right. So you have that if it's not similar. there. Um, so we're, we're pretty well established as a historic complex. Um, so I think that's all set, or do you have it, it is, but Ashley's, um, okay. Ashley's a recent member of okay. uh, appointment to the commission, and there is um, consideration in the regulations for areas that qualify as a historic mill complex okay. that exempt them from riverfront area provisions okay. because lots of historic mills were built. Next to reverse. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. And mm -hmm. on them and under them and through them and, and okay. channelizing <laughs> them and all sorts of things. So, no, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> so without revisiting the entire process and documenting it, we ask that they include just a quick reference to it for future file references. 
So the plan itself, I'll let Rich uh, go over all of that with you. Well, we have an ex uh, existing lot here. It's a, uh, a gravel lot where we store all of our vans. Okay. It's actually there's a paved lot, there's a garage here, and there's a, um, a, a gravel lot. And what we want to do is come out of that gravel lot. There's a fence. Uh, it's a fenced-in lot right now. We want to come out of the fence, and we want to come in uh, right close to that building mm -hmm. so we can take people there's an exit door here already with a ramp that goes up to Dickinson Court mm -hmm. uh, what we wanted to do is put a sidewalk down the side of the building and then to come over to this it would be a driveway where we would it would be a one-way driveway where we come in we would be able to stage three or four vans here uh, load up our people and then head back down into this area here which is existing paved entrance mm -hmm. um, that makes sense to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's some of it's coming from. Uh, we have 28 vans, and right now we are loading and unloading in a courtyard, which uh, Rich from Art Street would be happy to hear that we're trying to limit <laughs> um, the 28 vans from being there and beeping. Um, and it's it's just a nightmare for us right now. It's not enough space for 28 vans. So the goal is to have 14 vans loading and unloading currently where they're existing, and then to have the other 14 up here. Um, so that would make everybody's life a lot easier. But it does, you know, um, there's I think two or three trees there, mm -hmm. right, that would have to come down. Um, and and it, is, it is a slope hill, so there would be some reworking of the, mm -hmm. of the hill. There's like uh, nine, well, there's 150 feet here and 140 feet down at the bottom. So there's basically would be a 10 foot drop. And you're proposing to relocate to replant those trees elsewhere, or are you just taking them out? Well, the, the trees, uh, a couple of them at their at their at their end of life. Uh, one of them is a huge uh, old spruce tree. Uh, the other one is a, is an apple tree that's just out of control. Um, the rest of this is all just a grassy hill mm -hmm. right now. The trees were just kind of bordering the fence area. Oh, and so there so was a impacting the ones that were over on this end, like on this line. There is there are there are any trees here. Um, there are there's a there's a fence here right now yeah. that runs up. There's a, a maple oh, tree right at yeah. the bottom, and then there's an apple tree about a third of the way up, and then there's a big spruce tree gotcha. yeah. uh, right about there, right so where the driveway is going to go. And actually, part of the maple tree uh, fell over in a storm two years ago. It's a multi uh, trunk tree, and it, one of them's already peeled off. It's, it's not a safe tree anyway. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is basically a project because there's a from a river. I think uh, we were just looking at the where Yeah. Do so. you have particular like questions or? Concerns, or we'll be hiring Kevin Perrier. He will um, contract it out, you know, oversee it. Kevin, what size was that? Perrier, P E R R I E R. Mm -hmm. He's a contractor. Five star. Yeah. Five star. Five star. Mm -hmm. Five star construction is that yeah. called? Five star right. building. building. Building something company. Or something. Um, erosion protection plans for mm -hmm. when you're um, doing the hill. We were going to put a, uh, a, a silt fence down at the bottom of the area to collect anything that may come off the side hill. And we're hoping it's not going to take very long to, uh, mm -hmm. since it is for the most, except for these, though there's five trees, I think, all together. You have to put them along here, too, because if you look at any drop of water, you'll see it's coming down this way, too. Okay. So we have to put them along this. Anywhere yep. where, where a disturbed area would be traveling down along the gray line. Mm -hmm. So it's not by the yeah. yeah, all the way yeah. down because there's actually yeah. a just in the limit that the limits of your historic area. Yeah, like yeah. It, you know. yeah, yeah, makes sense. There's all there's all already an existing uh, paved waterway. Right. You want to avoid all that. Right. We want to avoid it because yeah, there's a, a drain there. Right. All the construction material. Getting One of the that. things we showed was there's already a drain right here. We were going to um, put in a, a deep. Uh, a deep sump mm -hmm. um, because this one here is just pretty much just not, not much left to it. Yeah, one of those we looked at was really filled up. Yeah, that was, that was the one, one we were okay. looking yeah, at, at putting in a, uh, a deep sump catch basin. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and do you maintain that, or does the city maintain that? We maintain it. You do? Well, not very well right now. I mean. <laughs> um, it, it was just a shallow one that, you know, that's been there as long as we've been there, and we never even... Mm -hmm. So do we have a plan on file with the silt fence located, or is that something you're going to submit at a later date? I think we can. Um, well, I did. I didn't. I didn't put did with the in this plan. There's mm -hmm. some verbal conditions that we mm -hmm. just gave to Kevin, and then he puts them out with the bill. Right. And we can condition it, mm -hmm. or we can mark up a plan by hand tonight, and everyone can sign it. I think that's a, okay. That's acceptable. Okay, we all understand great. where the silt fence is. Yeah. 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 So do you already have that sketch up started, or do you want to? Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Okay. So it's just on my hand. Yeah, I'll, I'll use one. Just. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's true. So you're going to be cutting into it. So basically, yeah, it has to be right to there. Well, except it's got to go to yeah, to be there. there. Go down yeah, to, to the, the end there. That's yeah, right to the right to the end. Except yeah. yeah. anything will catch. That'll catch. Yeah. That'll catch. Oh, okay. anything going around? Yeah. yeah. And you can use, you don't necessarily use, have to use silk fence if you want to use, there's other measures. You can use the, um, the, straw, the, the straw bottle, which is good because oh, it's, right. it's, um, it catches a lot more material. What do you call it? A straw waddle. W-A-T-T-L-E. Yeah. If you walk across a bridge, you'll see them around that other little sewer yeah. Yeah. collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're flexible, flexible and, and yeah. Yeah. Like yes. a straw waddle. Yeah. It's like a mesh build yeah. tube. Of basically mulch, <laughs> and the mulch well, is good. Well, the at straw is yeah. straw. The mulch is. Mulch. Oh, they're two different, oh, they're two so different um, products. Straw bottles are basically uniform. They're more glorified tables. So I'm going to call this the erosion control barrier. Okay. And then all right. So, uh, are there any other questions? Right. Are there any questions from the public? Being none, would anyone try to make a motion? because we're, we added a sketch. Okay, so number three, the conditions. Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve the RDA for Riverside Industries at uh, One Cottage Street um, with a negative determination category three. The work described in the request is within the buffer zone as defined <coughs> in the regulation, but will not alter the area subject to protection under the act. Therefore, said work does not require the filing of notice of intent subject to the following conditions. This is the uh, silt that is correct. Mm -hmm. <coughs> So, um, is there a second? A second? Uh, uh, before we say that, um, <laughs> the other condition would be the 48 hour notification. Sure. When the, before work sure. begins, uh -huh. um, just notify the commission within 48 hours of work beginning so that we can go out and inspect the erosion control measures and make sure that they're acceptable before you break ground. Okay. Jay, do you want to amend your, can, your motion to and I'll amend the motion to uh, a three eight hour notice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do you have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now we can just give a little okay there with your initials or something. Certainly. And then I'll go make a copy of these things for you. Excellent. 
Do we, for any reason, need to initial that uh, plan or not? I just, we just did. Okay. So, and it's not present. So it is right. Yes, I'm going to do this by hand tonight. Okay. So, one moment. So, when do you plan on starting? Um, Kevin's working on doing bids. Okay. Um, so, you know, people are a little busy right now, but we're hoping uh, the end of August or the middle of August, depending on people's schedule, who gets chosen. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, it will be great. It's a nightmare right now. The buses are, you know, it's late. It's just not a happy situation. Mm -hmm. So. You just want to try to make sure you get your um, slope stabilized before, you know, by mm -hmm. like October, November time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're so hoping to have it done by then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So that you have time, a little bit of a growing season, to get yeah. slope stabilized yeah. before after. Yeah. Grass back in there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, that'll be good. I think it'll look pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Just notify Melissa. Um, yep, you can just e e email us. Yep. Okay, just go through the same way. Yep, or call her if you have her number. Okay. There's a commission number, I think now. Is it? it? Well, I think it's a number that she uses, and sh and she'll reply back and wipe between noon to one every day. Okay. She'll yeah. you know spend some All time right. on the commission. She may rather have an email. Or the email. Yeah. Well, yeah, She's email's fine to too. To the I commission. Really quick on email, it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> we are. There's always someone checking <laughs> it out. Couldn't believe it how quick the response, and then we had somebody kind of like, wow. Yeah. Yeah, we try to check it every day as we can. Yeah. Um, so that gives record that if you know process yeah. you now. So then, yeah. Yeah. and and then one of us, whoever checks it, will get a hold of Jay. And okay. Jay will get out there. All right, sounds good. Or someone will anyway. Usually check them out. Usually Jay. Jay is our mm -hmm. compliance guy. Mm -hmm. He goes up to the sites and checks stuff out. So. Um, yep. So that'll be fine. Do you have all the other approvals ready to go, or did, were the only people you had to come Good. see? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. And, you know, I think just having you guys over to see the site helps too. Right. Just, yeah. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Taking it with time. Yeah. Go there right now and look. Yeah, and we look can. Look at the time. Yeah. I'll show you. <laughs> Call me up. I'm happy to show you. No, Thanks. no problem. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward, and then you can actually walk next door and see the other site. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the other thing I'm thinking about too. No, it's not this one. That's that one. Yeah. 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 Lots going on down that area. There certainly is. Yeah, then you can all walk the back out. It's all good stuff. <laughs> Total transformation. It's, great. it's exciting, isn't it? it? It's very exciting. It's I mean, when Terry really bought the button building, you know, I was so happy because I knew he would make it. It looks really nice. Really it's fabulous. It's a great time to be in the city. So much going on with the yeah. board work happening across yeah. the street, exactly. starting up to yeah. and What's just all the buildings? Just the new windows, the facade, yeah, everything. Yeah, the building looks great. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that had. Um, Wood windows for years, mm -hmm. right? The bottom building. Mm -hmm. And the colors he chose, I really mm -hmm. like them. I know. Yeah, I thought it, <laughs> it really hired somebody spruced though. up the building a it lot. Did. It yeah. did. It just makes it look really good. Plus, without those sale signs every week out there, the different sale signs, <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see something. Yeah, kind of, it kind of spruces up the city. It's been going out of business sale <laughs> for the last four years. <laughs> I know. Like, how is there a sale every week? <laughs> <laughs>
Look forward to seeing it get done. Yeah, me too. Me too. All right. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Take care. Okay. Now, next item on the agenda, a request for determination of applicability filed by the Hilltown Charter Public School, 1-3 to three Industrial Parkway, Invasive Species Management, and then limits of delineated wetland and construction of children's play area within the buffer zone. Title? Yeah. <laughs> you got the title <laughs> Can we have the, um, have Jake the Jake and I have that? I did, I totally did. And we have copy of the Yes. Um, no, I really just want this, but I let's, 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 let's look online together. Oh, this Wow, this is is this the this, this is the original, right? I'm like, this went back a lot to what we used to do. Yeah, this is the this is the second one. Right, I remember the second one. Okay. Right, okay. Which one is the original one, the later one? This was the original, the original one. one. <laughs> they before they did any delineations, what they wanted to do, and okay. they did the delineation that showed this is really the available. Okay. Available to be used. I'm looking at both. Could just reintroduce yourselves? Sure. Yeah. Sure. For the record, I'm Amy Aaron, Administrative Coordinator of the Town Charter School. Mm -hmm. um, Laura Baker, uh, Volunteer Chair of the Site Committee for the school. Okay. Okay, so uh, we come before you, see if you have any questions or comments about the plan. Um, I have a couple of questions, but I kind of wanted to hear what you guys had mm -hmm. to say first. Okay. Just to remind people a little bit, there's, you know, this field has been kind of mowing on and off. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've been keeping the area that's uplands, mm -hmm. um, continue to mow that area and mm -hmm. kind of let the other stuff go wild mm -hmm. um, that's in, in the wetland area. And that's where it's at at the moment. Okay. Um, so from a regulatory perspective the last time around, we were limited because of the extent of wetland and the nature of the application and the, what was proposed. Um, and um, the regulations being what they are, and I discussed this with DEP because I wanted to make sure that what we were essentially holding you to was what they would accept. Um, and that is that once you know a wetland's a wetland, even if it's been mowed, you have to stop mowing it. Unless you're agriculture, but this isn't agriculture. Right. So, um, so this, um, the current proposal shows that, basically, um, which is which is great, and um, and then you have plans to manage for non-native invasive species in the wetland area, um, and you've got target you've got target species um, focusing on. Especially multi-floor Well, rows. the two that, uh, we have a landscape architect who mm -hmm. couldn't be here tonight, but um, she said she had spotted, I mm -hmm. mean, it was it was mowed, mm -hmm. so there wasn't a lot of vegetation to look mm -hmm. at, um, the multi rose and phragmites. Mm -hmm. She said mm -hmm. she wouldn't be surprised if we got Japanese honeysuckle kind of popping mm -hmm. up in there. And there may be others that we just, mm -hmm. you know, don't know yet. Don't know yet. Mm -hmm. um, but those were a couple that she definitely saw on the site. Mm -hmm. And that she recommended to us that we try to manage. Well, those aren't unusual at all for anywhere around here. Right. They're um, native, non native. They're, they're, they're <laughs> becoming more native, native than they native as well. <laughs> they're quite prevalent. Uh -huh. um, and it's a plan to remove them by hand or hand tools. She, um, we talked about methods of removal. Mm -hmm. um, one would be to kind of pull with a weed wrench, pull mm -hmm. them out. Another would be to just kind of keep cutting them down. Mm -hmm. A third option that she talked about was to cut it and just paint the stem mm -hmm. with glyphosate, okay, but not a blanket. Mm -hmm. Right. And mm -hmm. so we may try those different methods and kind of see what, mm -hmm. what works. Okay. As well as in the upland area where we right. have the basics, probably too. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Do you have any? Um, not really. I mean, I, I know from the original plan you have a bunch of ideas for what was going to go on back there. How are you, have you modified those ideas at this point or are you still working through those just to have a play area or? This is really our kind of first phase, what we hope to have there September 3rd. We're <laughs> out there. So it's, it's pretty simple because the time is sure, short. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, you know, we have, we will likely be trying to put some fencing down here, but sure. it's not in the buffer zone. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a little play area here. You know, Molly wants a little trail here. Yeah. You know, in time, we have some other upland areas that we may start to work with some more, all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not that useful to us because the sight lines are so poor. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, you could take a class in and do like an art project or something, but you can't just let them run around. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, we may come back and ask to do a little bit of boardwalking, you know, for um, you know, educational purposes, sure. nature study things in the wetland area, yeah. but it's not an immediate priority. Sure. For us, um, so this is kind of the first first phase for us. And the other thing I, I wondered, one of my questions tonight is, you know, we had initially contemplated a, a drainage system in this field. Mm -hmm. It hasn't looked bad. We've been, I've been surprised because we've had a fair amount of rain lately, and it's it's not that soggy. But if it proves to be very soggy, I, I assume there's no limitation for us returning again <laughs> to ask for something spring. different. You know, because we, we, we have enough room to replicate if we were going to really mm -hmm. cut into some of these mm -hmm. um, wetland areas to replicate some wetlands. Didn't seem like a good first line of attack um, mm -hmm. and long and expensive. But, you know, we kind of said, well, let's live with this for a year or two. Maybe it's fine. Right. If it's not fine, you might hear from us again okay. about something. And certainly if we want to build up some little paths or boardwalks mm -hmm. or something back mm -hmm. there, you can hear from us. Um, but, you know, we kind of scaled back our... Hopes and dreams. <laughs> <laughs> and living in a small parking lot for the last we 19 have years. Only a paved so, area right, right now. So. This is a major upgrade. This um, looks like the wilderness. <laughs> 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 the wilds of industrial so, drive. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny. As oh. long as the kids can run around and we have something for them to climb mm -hmm. on and some swings, that's uh, yeah, that's a great that's first step. Yeah. yeah. So not not to deter you from any future design plan, um, anything in the wetland would require notice of intent, yep. and just for planning purposes, um, there is, uh, a po DEP has a policy about multiple notices of intent, Okay. and so the way I've, I understand it to be applied is you can only have one notice of intent, one order of conditions, one permit for a specific geographic footprint. So, ever? No, for okay. the life of that permit, Which without three, modifying three the years. permits. Which is it's three years. Three years. So if you if you right, plan yeah, something at yeah. yeah, even if you don't plan on doing yeah. it all at once, right. there's it you know. Okay, and it doesn't um, apply to the request for determination. No. We come every week, but that was. Please, <laughs> <laughs> every other. Everyone wants. Yeah. Every other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I just I just wanted to yeah, no, that's good to know. put that out there for everyone and. Because I don't want to see, you know, uh, an incremental approach. There's also a thing about phasing, but yeah. um, I wouldn't want to see that impede your progress on the property. Great. Okay. okay. Um, other questions that we had were, you know, we kind of did this limit of work area and threw silk mm -hmm. fence all around it. Turns out it's about five thousand dollars worth of silk fence, and so the question is, you know, is it overkill? What is um, your land disturbance? You're not actually disturbing. <laughs> I know. So we're, you know, we're going to be. You're just know, mowing the. We're out. We're mowing it low. They're going to come in and put some native seed in, and they are going to. Native seed where? In the in that upland area. Yeah. And they are going to. It's not really grading, but where there's been trucks driving mm -hmm. through and depressions and things like that, they're going to smooth there and put a little topsoil in. Um, but it's not pulling out the loam. It's not big excavation project mm -hmm. and given what's happened to this site over the years <laughs> it feels like we're walking pretty gently on it and so mm -hmm. just a question for the committee about yeah. do we need to go wild with right. hay bales or no. or not no I you mean, only need to put the hay bales downstream of the work you're working on right. so really if the whole the, the whole most of it slopes, slopes, slopes mm -hmm. towards the driveway so you only need to do like on the 
on this area of the infiltration swale so that anything mm -hmm. in here would not get into the swale. Right. If you're putting stuff here, well, it's just in the parking area. So, right, it's, right. so it's really just this area. I mean, that's all I would see. Right. You don't you need just, to put... There's a little sloping this here, so we is there, okay, there's then a that space in somewhere in here yes. too, correct? Yeah. Yes. So we would definitely want to protect the, the area a j up gradient of the catch basin right. because we don't want stuff washing into the sure. storm drain system and making a maintenance right. nightmare. But if water doesn't go this way, you don't right. need anything this way. Right. right. Okay. okay. So it doesn't matter area. what comes into your site, it only matters what leaves your site. You know, these <laughs> are the two areas where we'll actually excavate because mm -hmm. we'll be putting in this base for mm -hmm. the climber mm -hmm. and the swings. Mm -hmm. So we'll take a look and see. Yeah. Um, how those look in terms of grade. Right, so, right. So perhaps we could consider some phrasing like where, d where ground disturbance occurs up gradient of wetland resource areas right. or sensitive receptors, e.g. catch basin. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you come out anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, compliance got to come out. Thank goodness for Jay. Mm -hmm. That would be really helpful. That yeah, that would definitely would help a lot. reduce all this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, really. Hundreds of feet of Yeah, you don't need all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what the, the kids would like to climb on, guys. Yeah, yeah but the kids also nice. like to nest in them, so not. Yeah. Ah, uh, good to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. And I don't know if straw waddles are cheaper than the hay bales or. I don't know. Hay bales I heard they were more. They're, they're probably more because they're. Manufactured yeah. in yeah. a facility to a certain specification. But he knows that the silt fence and the hay bale added up to. I have no idea. Yeah. That's a great, great well, question. Yeah, it's surprisingly right. expensive. Yeah. Any do idea? Do we need both the silt fence hay bales and versus no. hay bale silt fence versus straw wattle and or straw wattle silt fence? Any ballpark experience estimates? Boy, they, they're going up. That I won't hold you to by any yeah. <laughs> script. I think that the um, straw wattles are generally more than hay bales, mm -hmm. right? Um, the silt socks mm -hmm. are also more expensive yeah. than yeah. hay bales. Yeah. Right. Um, I think what I've seen is that when on, on linear projects, when you're looking at the cost of manual labor overall, right. materials right. plus labor to install, one is easier, or it comes out less than the other just because of manpower. But well, in a situation like this where all it is is grading and reseeding when it might only be a couple of days, I, I don't know, maybe a week worth of work, maybe that's right. Like that. Could you just do a hay bale? Just, yeah. just stick, stick a hay bale in there, that's the cheapest. And then, mm -hmm. and then you don't need to put silk fences in, you don't need to yeah. put the straw walls in. I think we can do fun things with the hay bales. Exactly. <laughs> we'll build pots and things that the guys can live in. Well, like, don't do it. Yeah, really. Like, just, just keep an epi pen handy, okay? Exactly. <laughs> Our kids love these. Exactly. Our fridge full of epi pens. That's right. It's combating them. That's right. Yeah, it's not, I mean, it's, I, th I think for this situation, just a simple mm -hmm. silk fence will be, I mean, a, um, a hay simple hay bale. Yeah. Yeah, double, yeah, double stick hay bale will be fine. Okay. That's your cheapest. Real it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, it's a small area. It's not a steep slope. Yeah, and it's know, not like it's going to be open for multiple weeks. It's just, so yeah, it's not even you're not even going. You yeah. just it's top it's topsoil. Yep. Right. Okay. Work. So. Great. Any further discussion? No. No. Okay. So. That said, would anyone care to make a motion? Before we do that, actually, so the construction, when it, we put this gets, assuming it gets approved from the vote, you're going to start immediately, or what's what's your what's your goal to get this project completed? The, the soon as seating in the field, <coughs> we'll probably try to do as soon as we can. Like yeah, soon. yeah, the sooner the better. Well, yeah, yeah, if you want to get the kids to by September, <laughs> good. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Oh yeah. Whereas the climber and the swings, we're just not there yet. Probably in August, they yeah. go in sometime. Yeah. Yeah. The whole goal being September. September. Yeah. Mm. Gotcha. But then again, for the whole project, is that? <laughs> it's not exactly on the schedule. All right, all right. So that's so just thinking about you know fall and winter and everything. We want to make sure the site yeah. is stabilized by then. Yeah. You know the hay this the hay bales would stay in in place until the site is stabilized. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure what's going to be unstable. I mean, the areas yeah. where we put in the climber end up being bark mulch. Yeah, it'll probably be stabilized once the, once the grass starts growing. And what's basically but stable. the area that you're talking about, once the bark mulch is in, that's that's stable. stable. It and is, yeah. The area you're not waiting for putting grass grow. seed already has stuff around it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. it's yeah. not raw dirt. Right. So I don't, yeah. I don't know what so washes away. Yeah. So very you'll be little. fine. Very little. Yeah, you'll be fine. 
Okay. Unless we get rain like tonight, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I drove through Connecticut on that, so that's Did fun. You really? Yeah, oh. it's gonna be fun tonight. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad I'll make a motion that we approve the RDA for Hilltown Charter Public School, um, a negative determination category three, that the work described in the request is within buffer zone as defined in the regulations, but not will not alter the, an area subject to protection under the act. Therefore, said work does not require filing of a notice of intent subject to the following conditions. 48 hour notice. 48 hour notice. And erosion control. and, and, and erosion controls. And erosion controls. Um, Upgrading. Up mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And around that uh, mm -hmm. catch basin. Catch basin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a second? A second. I wasn't there. Hi. Right. Oh. <laughs> so the 48 hour notice before we start Mowing? So, no, once okay. you install the, the ground disturbance or the, the, the ground modification. Okay. So, once the original yeah, yeah, barriers yeah, sure are installed, um, if you notify, uh, you can arrange for someone. We will the commission's email and then we'll mm -hmm. figure out who goes out from the J. Sure, the elevator will be the holdup given the state of inspectors in the state. There's yeah. like three elevator inspectors for the whole state. Oh my gosh. Um, and it, inevitably go on vacation in August. <laughs> right. The elevator is in process of being installed. It arrived in massive boxes, many of them at uh, the end of last week. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they work to a real deadline, so yep. until we get to that September 3rd. Yeah. Right. <laughs> then all of a sudden, it'll be chaos. But three together. hours beforehand, yeah. It's dumb. <laughs> yeah, just don't touch the walls. It's a slow crawl, <laughs> slow crawl up to that. Oh. The teachers are chomping. I bet oh. to get in there, oh. they're going to be, the day over. before, they're going to have to be setting up they're they're their rooms. Well. Um, no, they can't be because it's too much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we have 253 foot trailers still stuffed sitting in the storage, oh my goodness. as well as six rooms packed to the brim with stuff. Oh. We're collectors. Old and used materials. Exactly. Yes. Wonderful. Well, good luck with it. Thank, Thank you very, very much. Thanks for coming. So, at the present time, we have no new or valid, uh, or no new request for certificate of compliance. Um, the, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> why, why not, never mind. Just say okay, just a second. Um, okay. So, we have, uh, Expiring in two days is the emergency cert for the Wimiko emergency spill response uh, to Ferry Street. Uh, I haven't heard anything new. I'm not driven by there, but um, that is like a that's an MCP deadline. So 
hopefully they're complying. Uh, the City of East Hampton Department of Public Works, South Street, Wilton Brook Culvert, Beaver Activity, Flooding. To my knowledge, that has been addressed in a semi-permanent manner, and um, when uh, things settle down in terms of Jim Gracious schedule, he'll file a, an application of some sort to install the beaver deceiver. That's going to be a uh, NOI? I believe so. All right, enforcement orders. Neither Jessica nor I were able to schedule site visits, so um, she's on vacation. Um, see what we can do. I know you're away. Um, 24th. And I'm on the 26th. Through the 2nd. Oh, wait, of oh, July? Yeah. How long are you going to be gone for? 24th. We're back year. to the 24th. You're back to the 24th. Gotcha. We're back to the 24th. I'm on the page. Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, compliance updates. City of East Hampton Fish Ladder, nothing new. Nothing new anymore. Uh, Paul Street Extension, Jillian Estates. Um, that's one we need to put an asterisk next to because um, Dan Buttrick did email David Gartska, copying Mark Reed, and did not get a response. So okay. we need to um, follow up on that. Savings Bank parking lot? No change. No change. <clears throat> Okay. Um, Pleasant Street Mills. Um, they have buttoned up the site, and phase one is complete. Um, Do you have photos? Yeah, I went through today. Just to, there's a couple things. For I, I'm like two okay. private projects back. If you can just hold on one second. There's no update on East Hampton Savings Bank. There's no change. No change. No update. No change. Okay. We were going to contact the applicant regarding the state of construction to implement the um, corrective action. Says the commission will contact the applicant and CC Mark Reed regarding the state of the construction to implement corrective actions to the detention bar. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, now we're done with the three minutes. Sorry. Okay. So they did fill in around the fire hydrants. Great. Um, so that that looks like it's in. When was this picture taken, though? Today. Today. Okay. Because when I was down there, I ran by there last weekend, and um, at one of the hydrants there was washout. Yeah, so, so, so this is this is the only problem area that I saw was a little <laughs> yeah, washout by that okay. fire hydrant. Yep. The little was still. And near one of those fire hydrants, I don't know if did you see this area where the it was kind of it's kind of building up. Uh, behind the silt fence, going into the silt fence, and running across the trail. Right. It's kind of it's kind of deep mud there. It so it, show what they've done is inadequate. Yep. And that one exactly. location. And that's on the side in the direction that we walked on the right. Yes. And does that lead down to the ditch culvert stream? And this is just side. Like, You're on the Pleasant here, Street side, right here. but the yeah. water's leaking so out of the, the silt fence, going across, yeah, going, across okay. going across the rail trail. It's not yeah. piling up too much soil on the other side of the rail trail, but it's going to not survive. Yeah. You know, when tonight? I went, tonight. <laughs> when I went by mm -hmm. in a recent rainstorm, there was a ton of silt going down into that uh, it is stream. It didn't verify. It did not. So we were walking this direction, yeah. mm -hmm. and as this progresses, there's a stream and a ditch along here, and it was right. like muddy water. So. Okay. okay, so that is a violation of the slip. Mm -hmm. So... So who's was going to contact Jessica on that? Or well, Jessica's on vacation, the contractor. Rob Levesque. Is that are you going to do that door? Yep. All right. And not their problem, but on the other side, that thing is opening up again that the city fixed once before. Um, Just because it's on the it's, opposite side. Yeah, it's Harry. on the other it's on the Harry. Other side. Park and rec. Is John Mason? Right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is a cottage street. All right. 
How would you describe that? That's just a like a sinkhole kind of it's thing? It's a sinkhole, yeah. basically. And do we know what's causing it? Probably um, concentrated runoff. Yeah, it's gotta be yeah, that. It's just it's a steep hill behind it. And I've never been there during a heavy rain, but it's probably all funneling to that location. I know we Tonight. <laughs> about 20 minutes. <laughs> Tonight, tomorrow, the next yeah, day, the it's all kind of looking mm -hmm. uh, wet. Wash heavy. So, all right, um, I will. I will contact John Mason of Park and Rec. John Mason. He's the Park and Rec. Drop J O H N. Hmm? At J O H N or J O N? I think it's J O H N. All right, we'll go with that. And let me highlight it and I'll double check. Okay. Perry Mason. Perry Mason. <laughs> yeah, it was dead. Um, Glendale, Leadville, West Pomeroy Meadow intersection. <coughs> They're still working. Still working. It's hard to see like, all the hay bales and things because the grass is getting so high you can't really <coughs> mm -hmm. see what's going on, but uh, it, it looks stable. It, um, they haven't been over talked since the, right. the event yeah. I emailed them about. Right. Right. So, um, we still need weekly updates from Jim Grisha. Yeah, they're behind on clients. weekly updates. As is the Park Street, but I'm going to leave that note in there. Park Street, Julian Estates. Okay, uh, eight-old stagecoach? Um, I looked for an email for them. I didn't see one. Uh, the phone number that was on the RDA or what it, what it was, uh, that phone number doesn't really work. It picks up and says no one's taking calls. But I did track down their home address and call their home number and talk to someone and hopefully they'll Thank take you. care of it. Okay, next item. Nashmonic, uh, yes, former, formerly Nashmonic Mills. Uh, presently, Cottage Square Apartments. Uh, so, to, to explain um, the strong presence of these two gentlemen, um, there was an email forwarded around from the Conservation Commission ac account that got totally buried somehow in my inbox at work, and so I missed putting them on the agenda okay. for their request for, uh, request for amended order of conditions. I called Mr. Yu this afternoon, and we talked about it, and um, I think we can stay on the right side of uh, public meeting law um, by discussing it, but not acting on it tonight, and um, it is already on the agenda for the next meeting. Okay. <laughs> Draft, sorry. Um, and so um, we'll just move forward with that. Uh, as we discussed, that, that we can put it, we'll put the discussion in the minutes. Um, the next meeting is July 28th. We will have two of the four members here tonight will be here for that meeting, um, and the third member for that meeting will be able to play catch up. Right, because he's seen the site. Because he's seen it, he was done the site visit, he, he, he was at the previous That's discussion, the previous. Right. Okay. and he'll be able to read the minutes. Um, right. So that That's should so. keep things moving. Yep. Okay. For yeah, for formal action at the next at the July twenty eighth. Yeah. No need no need for new notices or anything. No. Like okay. No. We're okay. No. You did the right thing. Right. So what do you want to hear tonight? <laughs> so it's just. I guess I'll go kind of go over. Um, yeah. Just first of all, say your names for our meeting. Michael Liu, right? Yep. And Rich Relic. March two. And also we have um, the draft whip. Oh good. Thank you. Uh, this was, oh yeah, that was swapped off. This um, was hand delivered. Um, I guess. Right. I think the final one is being finalized. Um, yeah. Signed, etc. Right. So as. What is this again? This is this. This is the draft slip. Okay. Um, and I guess my request is that as pieces are updated and finalized, if you could just just PDFs is sufficient. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of those particular okay. pieces, not the whole document again. Just insert, replace. Sure. I think I saw a communication that 
the contractor? Yeah, Dave did his, his piece final of it, and, okay. and the contractor's finalizing. It's going to upload it onto the, the system. And then, it, yeah, whatever. And then, uh, it, yeah. So I guess was, they should be submitting a final version? Or just um, draft? <coughs> whatever pieces or whatever get changes. updated. Okay. Yeah, okay. we don't need, unless... Changes only. Right. Changes only, please. Okay. This is, you know, a whole lot of paper. <laughs> Yes, um, is. Which is good. I mean, it, it's everyone knows what's supposed to happen, and, and I'm optimistic the site will hold up well this week. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She says it hasn't, got, it hasn't gotten that bad. Worse, right? <laughs> it hasn't gotten worse. It hasn't. It hasn't. I mean, Dave Deese was hoping it's going to dry out yeah. recently, and it hasn't. We haven't seen that dry out. Water just just keeps we just keep getting more rain. It I mean, well, there's some, it's a groundwater thing. Isn't yeah, 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 there's a lot of that. It's just shedding off the constant off the clay and just right. cheating down off the hill. Mm -hmm. so, uh, is there a plan to mitigate that for the future then? Because it's there is for the future. Yeah, the Dave's going to put in a whole drainage system okay. um, along there with with um, brick brick brack and right into the driveway. So yeah, it's going to be it'll be controlled when he does it. He said in about three weeks you should have that piece. Um, done that, that the driveway yeah, piece that you see on the slope. That'll be a so real before the end of hurricane season. Yeah, yeah. 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 everybody's yeah. sick of looking at that hill, so <laughs> um, it'll be nice. That would be, that's a good segue into into where we're going. Thank yeah. you. This is so, so cool. This this was the original um, copy of the original plan approved, yeah. and this plan up here is the right. revised right. plan. And good day. Yeah. I'm going to highlight the major pieces and. Um, a lot of it has to do with groundwater. Now, the property line is shown in red. Mm -hmm. The building is outlined in brown here. And this purple line, well, here's the canal. And this is the 200-foot riverfront. Um, it currently is paved all the way up into here right now, as you know. Mm -hmm. um, so the parking lot's getting modified. And right at the outer fringe of the 200 riverfront area is um, a landscape island. Mm -hmm. Originally, this island had... Um, a walk, sidewalk down the center of it, you know, with landscape, um, a tree belt on either side. We're proposing to take the sidewalk out and put in a rain garden here. Um, the rain garden is a replacement, I think a better replacement for the uh, permeable paving that was over here on the eastern end or the northern end of the site. Um, we really don't want to get into that, try to build this because it's going to impact that hillside. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot, seems, there seems to be a lot more water coming off the hill here than even over here. And this is where we're sh seeing all the, the um, problems with the groundwater right now. Mm -hmm. And I guess we're feeling that if we, if we cut into this hillside, it's going to be a worse situation than what happened over here. Mm -hmm. So the proposal that we'd like to put forth is to replace the permeable paving with this rain garden, which mm -hmm. is actually would do more than the permeable paving because mm -hmm. we can direct, uh, catch this the, the upper parking lot, the pavement in the rain garden, and have it actually filter it, um, treat it somewhat, and infiltrate it. And when it overflows, it'll you know we got um, an overflow drain here that will um, connect back into the drainage system. So I think that's a more useful. Um, and it may be a, a greener design for the, the drainage, uh, improving the drainage. Um, other aspects of the site plan are that, again, the roadway we're proposing to, before it pretty much came in at a 2.5%, and then constant pitch 5% all the way down to here. What we're proposing to do is elongate the 2.5% out a little bit further and then drop it steeper down to this grade. Um, what that does is it brings the road up and gets it out of the groundwater because we excavate it into the groundwater. Um, if we can get that up, hopefully we can avoid conflicts with the groundwater. There's a uh, proposal also to add a French drain along this edge, which will intercept groundwater, um, and that'll help control and 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 uh, you know add a level of insurance to protect the sub base of the road to avoid you know the heaving and so forth in the winter time. So there there would be a conduit for groundwater along this edge and we bring that all the way down and tie it into an existing drain manhole. Another reason why the road was um, elevated was because there's this existing catch basin here that was buried and there's a 15 inch drain that kind of goes up in this direction toward Adams Street. So we think that 
Adams, there's some drainage that from Adams Street that's actually connected and goes through the site and discharges into the canal down over here mm -hmm. to the north. And whether that's constantly running, I don't know. Um, Dave Deeks, the contractor, seems to think that there's water going through that pipe at all, you know, all the time as well. Um, so we're not really sure where the water is coming from, but it's going through the site, so we're maintaining mm -hmm. that conduit, so we're, we're lifting that road up a little bit to, mm -hmm. to protect that uh, pipe. Um, and then another major piece uh, of change is we like to add a rain garden here in the what we everybody on site refers to as the moat area, <laughs> that lower area mm -hmm. between the building and Cottage Street. Um, before, what would happen was water would just collect here and kind of sheet over uh, overland to the concrete canal wall here. There's actually a scupper in that wall, so oh. a hole. Okay. That's <laughs> Um, I sound like a Navy man. I was going to say more of a nautical <laughs> term, right. but okay. But there's a, there's a hole in the wall and water would just go there and, oh and kind of like pool a little bit and go through the hole directly into the canal. Um, I don't know how much water is going through there now, but what the rain garden does is it's collecting roof drainage here. Mm -hmm. This is pitched and water basically sheeted off the side and, and went into the canal. Right, we're proposing to, um, the architects has a gutter on this side with downspouts, so we're gonna catch as many downspouts as we can and direct them into the rain garden first, uh, let it infiltrate, and again, when the rain garden overflows, it'll take that natural course and, and go down, you know, overland mm -hmm. um, to the canal again. But we're trying to intercept as much water as we can from the roof and get it to, you know, try to infiltrate into the ground. So. That's another kind of green aspect of the drainage design. Um, you know, I think that would be an improvement to the site overall. Um, I guess there was nothing proposed there before, right? Right, okay. right, correct. In this plan, you can see okay. there wasn't anything proposed, so it was just, you know, we're gonna naturally uh, let it do what it did, but, and to be honest with you, we didn't, w there was a miscue between the architect's drawings and, you know, what we, we didn't know that there was any downspouts there and okay. honestly they added them you know between this and that mm -hmm. so we had to do something with those and we could have just discharged them on the ground but I think with the rain garden there it's a better way to handle some of that that flow onto the ground mm -hmm. um, those are the major pieces I think what impacts you know what, what's in the uh, riverfront area in your jurisdiction is you know that this rain piece of rain garden here we, we do have plantings that were proposed, some natural plantings in this area, and we'll still do those um, where we can here. There was also plantings around this um, fenced-in area, which has the old, I don't know what it was. The, the, Tank cradles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the sewer seems to go through that area as well. Mm -hmm. So anyway, there was, uh, we'll still be doing those plantings. That hasn't changed. Um, and then there was just some slight you know, minor grading um, and rerouting of some of the drain lines in this area. Uh, where the existing building came out over here <coughs> that was demolished, there was a lot of um, contaminated soils. And we had some perforated pipe over here to, you know, further infiltrate um, clean water from the building and roofs. Uh, we've moved that from this area in the contaminated soils, we moved the infiltrated infiltration line here, as you can see, uh, to get it out of that build, old building envelope. And it's the exact same um, length as was originally designed over here. So we're, we're, we're basically moving that. Um, and I guess that's about it. The others are, things are kind of minor. I'm not sure if they're um, necessarily in your purview. They have to do with ground, most of it has to do with groundwater. Uh, but those are the major changes. Um, I think it kind of makes it a better project, to be honest with you. I hope you'll agree. Um, and so we're hoping that you can have a formal vote to approve or to grant the amended order of conditions uh, based on this revised uh, site plan. When does the infiltration basin now take? Is it the same general area that it was taking before, or is there more water going to that? The under basin? this? Yes. Under yeah. Ground? yeah. Um, it would take basically the same amount of water, um, in, and in addition, it might take overflow from this rain garden, but before, that water was all going into the, being caught in the catch basin and being piped over. So now some of it's going to enter and maybe 
boy, what, I meant less, sorry. Because some of the water that th will go in the rain garden and be infiltrated well, in the ground won't right. be going into the detention right. basin. Right. Um, there's actually a slight change too. This roadway used to be over here a little bit. We've kind of moved it closer. You can see this island right there mm -hmm. is a little narrower. So we kind of squeeze the road over a little bit just so that there's a little bit less impact to the hillside. We're just doing little things to try to decrease the amount of cut, you mm -hmm. know, that we're yeah. touching that, that hillside. <laughs> so with the, the rain garden biospheres, what the, what's the vegetative component of that? Um, there will, stuff? it's going to be, the bottom we're proposing to have like a stone mm -hmm. channel in the bottom. It'll be uh, um, seeded with um, like a, a wildflower mix, and we haven't shown it, but we're, there's we're going to be some um, some woody plant material in there as well. We're gonna we will maintain. There were trees uh, proposed along here. I think there were about six trees on each side here and here. We'll maintain the trees. We'll probably add some native um, shrubs, you know, mm -hmm. along on the embankments mm -hmm. um, from in both rain gardens. And then that will be rolled into the general site. Landscaping maintenance. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, because there are very specific requirements to maintain a rain garden. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that it functions. And, right, and I, right. as a rain function. garden instead <laughs> of a planting area. I think I, I, I was actually trying to convince Rich and his partner to maybe just to see if we could delete the permeable paving altogether, but they were pretty committed to doing some type of green mm -hmm. uh, elements here. So I think the rain garden's a, a you know really good choice. Agree. Um, Definitely has more aesthetic yeah, value. Yeah, than yeah exactly. A and it, I think it will. Yep. It'll fit in there. Most people, when they get out of their cars, anyway, they're they're gonna, they, people tend to walk. You know, like yeah. Mm -hmm. So that side, we don't know if the sidewalk would have been used Probably anyway. Mm -hmm. So no, it's I great. Think rain garden is a good. Um, area, in a good area. <coughs> what about when, since you raised the road up? It's going to be more. I would imagine, unless you're going to. It looks to me like when you raise the road, the sh the sheet flow in the street is going to go off down that hill. Yeah, so it's going to go. Oh, this. Okay. So it's basically going to go towards the parking lot, yeah. then go down the road, which yeah, is fine. It's all, uh, This is all curbed. Yep, yeah, it is curbed. Yeah. So we have drain. We have drain structures. Okay. Along that side. There will be? Okay, yeah. so there's going to be catch basins along there? Correct. So this, this da dark dash line is the drain, proposed drain line. Okay. Mm -hmm. That brings okay. water down into the uh, detention basin, which was also the original design. Okay, okay. So, there's a, so that's good then. I, I would. Yeah, there's no group change in, in the pattern. In the, the pattern of where the, how, the, how the water is getting to the basin. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. I think this is a bit much better, better plan. I like it better. I think it'll function equally well, if not better. Yeah, um, well, I think it's an easier, certainly hoping better. You know, <laughs> easier um, undertaking to maintain than permeable yeah. pavement. Yeah, right. In New England, right. And that permeable paving was it's pitched in this direction, so it really was kind of like catching water off the hillside, mm -hmm. which. Kind of defeats the purpose of putting in the pro paving, right. you know. I, I'm glad to see that there's less slope cutting. Um, yeah, that, yeah. designed to it. It's just Agreed. less to deal with. That really worries me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, raising the road also decreases the slope going back here because this this plan had a two yeah. to one slope and that is a three to one. Much we more basically stable. maintain the same line of work, if you will. Um, and it, at, with a flatter slope, so right. that'll help, you know, so stabilize. If you can get that done and get it stabilized, the more luck you're going to have keeping it stable yeah. over the winter. So you might want to even think about, even not just grass, but maybe some sort of like... Well, thing. originally, yeah, yeah, yeah when, we, when we had it at the original grades and stuff, we were advised by Mr. Deets that the only way to hold the slope is to put riprap yeah. on it. And we're like, no, wait. That's gonna. It'll look like a highway mm -hmm. cut, you know. And we. But there is netting. We were actually proposed it on the Glendale yeah, there are, project, or didn't there are various types well, of there, erosion yeah, we, control we could put blankets, on, like matting or netting, or you know, combinations of things. But right. you know, ultimately, uh, this saves in the long run. I think it saves um, the contractor, you know, having to go back. Although he's already cut, you know, the road down to like here. Sure. But um, you know he can go back in and fix that slope a lot easier um, than trying to deal with this over Great. and over again. We Great. hope, you know. 
So that, are there any other questions from members of the commission? I will now open it to the public. <laughs> Mr. Schumann. Uh, I'm just curious, uh, on these rain gardens, do you have any stagnant water that's going to be on there? You're just uh, not flowing? Well, they typically do hold that, you know, like if there's a rainstorm, you know, they're only designed to hold, you know, that first, like, whatever, they call it the first flush. Um, these are about eight inches deep, so there's a potential for them to hold that amount of water for Well, the only, the only the way, I'm just curious about the mosquito or, or bug or something like that. What right. do you know about that? Um, there shouldn't, I mean, with the... The reason why we like to put that stone channel in the bottom is it really helps to get the water down into the ground. If it's, if it gets packed, if the, if it's just dirt or even wood chips or something, and they get packed, they tend to hold water longer and not infiltrate. So the stone channel in the bottoms help, to, you know, dissipate the water. Right. Um, the idea of a rain garden is that it should never hold water for more than I believe 24 hours. I think it's 48. I think it's 48. 48. 48. Mm -hmm. So and. Mosquitoes don't usually come around to like 72 hours, is that right? Yeah. That's that, couldn't but, tell you. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll... It's, I mean, yeah, it's one of those it's things that it's, it's, it's not supposed to be a mosquito breeding ground, that's the whole idea of it. Yeah. It's not a detention feature. No, it's it's designed to An infiltration drain. feature. Okay. If it is holding water, then it's not working. Right. <laughs> right. And then that's a whole other maintenance issue. Right. <laughs> so, any other questions, Harry? Uh, yeah, do you have any kind of a, uh, well, this is all done, you got some kind of a maintenance program to make sure these things are all flowing good? And yeah, we'll have a professional maintenance program that will come and do the landscaping, and that'll be part of it. They check in like once a week or once a month or whatever? I don't think weekly, but it will yeah. certainly be over, you know, a scheduled period. Yeah, yeah I think it's something like, I think I've seen standard conditions where, like, it should be inspected at least four times a year. Right. Mm -hmm. Like quarterly or whatever, and then maintenance required once a year, necessary, usually. Yeah. but usually minimum twice a year or something like that. You know, we had a, we had a, a big deal going on about that Park Street Village when they were going to put that pervious pavement in there. Mm. And they had to maintain that like once a month and go with brushes and make sure to all that, you know, know. Brush that, that so yeah. that, 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 in, in New England, that tends to just not, it's just not feasible to, to do it. Um, you know, I mean, I just came back from China and there's so much permeable paving. In, in parking lots, I go. This is what it should look like, but you can't do it in New England because it gets clogged up with sand, and you know, so the, you have, it takes a lot more maintenance to um, deal with you know the, the accumulated sediments and stuff that get in, in there. So, um, snow management with regard to this potentially being an easy spot to push into. That's mm -hmm. not consistent with the. Can you help me remember? <laughs> I, I don't have rain gardens on the brain, but I, I seem to recall that that's not consistent with their I design think. criteria. You can't stockpile snow in them. Right, and I mean, there undoubtedly some snow is going to get in there. Some is know. fine, but yeah. They're not, in, I don't, intentionally right. using it yeah, as a snow storage yeah. area you is cannot, not extended. Right. The whole idea is that they are not compacted, right. so you can't put snow and on it because it will compact the ground. I think in general, it seems like the snow is going to be moved in that type of direction. Mm -hmm. So there's stockpiling areas here and even along, along the edge here. Um, that's a riverfront area, I know. Uh, if you, I don't know how you feel about um, them just, you know, piling snow up in that area off the edge of pavement. But most likely, it's going to get you know pushed in this direction, mm -hmm. away from the building. I don't see that as being horrendous. No. I mean, the the bigger problem we had historically and, and totally not malicious was that it was being pushed into the stream. Into the canal. But oh, yeah, yeah. But sure. that was <laughs> that mm -hmm. has been addressed <laughs> years ago. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, as long as it's not. As long as it's not pushed into the rain garden, it usually mm -hmm. fine. It, just, it can't be. Okay. Any um, given our logistical issues this evening, would anyone care to make a motion to continue this to the meeting on the 28th? I propose that we, um, or we um, continue this meeting until the July 28th, 2014 meeting. 6 p.m. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Okay. So thank you right. both very much. Thank you. And good luck with this rainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> I wish everyone luck with this rainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Deeds is over there this afternoon. Great.
making sure. Looking at everything. Yeah. So we probably have some of the rot water missing a uh, catch basin right in front of the Sunoco there. Mm -hmm. I think some of it's kind of sheet draining down the driveway, so we're trying to sort of redirect that and keep it on the street a little bit better on the sidewalk. So that hopefully that will help. Yeah, there's actually. Your hand ready? Yeah. You can, so. you can recycle it for something else that comes away. I can work with that. <laughs> Yeah, that was an interesting, so part of the curb on Cottage Street has gotten depressed and there's actually street water running down into the moat area. Really? Right now. It's actually going to be a moat yeah. soon. Yeah. So <laughs> it's actually, the it's actually taking... Or did they just keep layering with pavement on top right, of pavement? Right, right. Maybe both. Good question. But yeah. yeah, but there's a piece, yeah, anyway, it's taking more oh. water in that area than it should. Oh, thank, thank you. I don't want you to lose So this. that'll get fixed too much in time, I guess. Yeah. I'm sure. Great. Well, thank you both thank very, you very much. much. Have a nice thank evening. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks a lot. Okay. I'll do that. So, so. yeah. Thanks, Harry. We're losing you too, Harry? We're losing you? What's that? You're leaving? Yeah, you can say <laughs> that. <laughs> it's just going to be us. I hate when the party ends like that. Good you night. Thank you. Okay, next <laughs> Nashawana Pond Promenade Park. The only update is that we have received the recorded order of conditions. So that's um, that's that for now. Connecticut River Oxbow Boating Access Facility. Have you been down there lately? Yeah, I'm, I'm Me neither. Down. Uh, it was being paved. The, the hay bales were in place. They did a good job. Yeah. I think it's from the river on the boat looking up. It's beautiful. She's dead. Beautiful sh black shiny. That's all. Nice. So we can contact them and see if they can do a certificate of compliance then? I'll, I'll email Terry about status and see where that goes. Um, Jess is on vacation, so we have nothing regarding a shared conservation commission agent. Um, meeting minutes? Um, I'll make a motion that we approve of the meeting minutes from June 23rd. Yeah, to bring them with me. Jay has it. Oh, awesome. Because Jay is awesome. <laughs> Since I wrote one, I can't second the motion. Oh, I second the motion. I wasn't there. Aye. 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 Okay. Now, um, this was this is printed from the original email that you sent, so there were yeah, no changes. Yeah, I don't know this. I didn't see any, didn't see any further. No. No. No, 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 no changes. changes. Okay, so that. Um, all right. Uh, is there anything else? So other than hopefully staying on track with um, the quorum, the bare minimum quorum for the next meeting, is there anything of note to discuss? There's really, there's really no correspondence to speak of. Um, there's a little bit of basic filing that Help would be appreciated on. I have no idea why I have a 2006 file from the rail trail, but I do. Does it just show up in your doorstep, or what do you mean? Uh, it showed up here in a pile. Okay. Um, so that said, who's um, Chris? Will you chair the next meeting? As long as someone else wants to take minutes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Speak slowly. <laughs> okay. Thank okay. you. I'm bringing your computer. <laughs> Done. Yes. I'll leave the minutes queued up for you so you can just type. Yeah. Okay, so that, that said, um, blah, blah, blah. Any correspondence? Not really. Um, not really. And I'll, you know, I'll clean this up and submit the agenda um, as a draft to the group and then get it to bar before I go on vacation. But I am going to be um, largely unavailable next week. I've, I've got back to back to back meetings. Okay. And the long day is in PV. Well, I can, uh, I can yeah. check the. Have to look for something to do. Commission email on a regular basis. So that would be great. Week. We can um, just make sure we have oh, where to go. Oh, that reminds me. There was an email from Mark Reed regarding, I believe it's 179 Northampton Street. It's um, across from. It's, it's The owner came to us maybe last. Ball. His name is Anthony Gleason about repaving the parking lot and what he might need to do. Um, when are, when there's are, a on Northampton Street. 179. Yeah. Doc, the Hampshire Pediatrics is there. Okay. It's kind of across from some 
Apartments. Just apartments, just north of Abishan. Mm -hmm. Hardware on the post office Was side. Was it last year or a couple years ago? I don't know. It's a blur. It was a while ago. It's it's been a while. Um, to repave, you know, if a if an RDA would be sufficient to repave within the existing limits. Um, so if if everyone else thinks that, that would be appropriate within the buffer zone, I'll I'll let you know by email that we should, you know, depending on the work proposed. Plus the area? There's a buffer zone. It's hundred feet zone. off. Okay. Portions of it fall within a hundred feet of a wetland. A lot of water behind that whole area. And there's a very wet forested wetland from just north of Highland Ave to the post office and then behind okay. the industrial park. Right. And the stair streams that come off the Florence Road side of things and flow mm -hmm. easterly toward the Manhan. Is there a strip mall there? What's mm -hmm. there? No, no. At 179? It's um, office offices. Offices, yeah. Commercial office space, doctor's mm -hmm. office. office. Maybe, in a, maybe a CPA. Okay. Office space. There you go. Um, so with that, anyone care to make a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. In favor? Aye. Second. 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 Second.